Welcome to Car Cave USA at Aiken, South Carolina. Um, we enjoy anything fun. We look at cars around here. Lowe's Excel, Escort RS2000, Integra Type R, Land Rover Defenders. You got G-Wagon back there, some Civic EK4s. We, we dabble in just about anything. If it's fun to drive, we love it. Um, this one I took to the beach, a couple hour, three hour drive last weekend. But our focal point today is this Toyota Land Cruiser KZJ73. It's a 1993. I started with the hood up because it's easier while you're filming by yourself to get under the hood and try and do it and pop it. Um, it's just me here. It's Friday evening. I'm Chris, by the way. If you call here, you're either going to get me or Jennifer. And Jennifer will forward it over to me. I do all of her car buying, all of her selling. I handle it personally as well as own the place. So I like to handle each client myself. And this is a unique Land Cruiser. It has a bunch of performance mods, um, has a repaint, some custom bumpers. So we'll go through everything. Why not just start from the front? Um, we'll start it up, we'll have a little bit of fun. And there's some chip guard at the bottom of it. to the lower portion of the paint. So this is where it's at. They did Let's see, I wrote it up today so I can remember all this. Uprated injection pump so we can get more fuel through. Um, timing belt's been done recently, I believe in the last 30,000 kilometers. It's the 1KZT motor. The TE has a mechanical, or the, sorry, the TE has an electronic injection pump. The T has a mechanical injection pump, so it's highly tunable. Um, this one has a front mount intercooler. You can see the intercooler mounted in here. Aluminum radiator, silicone hoses, you have your boost controller, aluminum catch can, um, you have a bigger turbo, so it gets more boost out of it. I can't remember the brand, it's in our write-up online. And then you have a custom exhaust that leads out, goes underneath. Last owner said stainless, but I think he means his rest of his work back here. Um, we got from Mechanic in southern France. It came from the border region that's right on Spain, so dry climate area. Um, he did a lot of different mods to it. It rides out good, has plenty of power. Um, all his accessories are driven, <coughs> excuse me, off the secondary fuse block here. You have dual batteries, and then underneath you actually have an air horn. You can see that thing buried here. Uh, the bumpers are custom. I've never seen these. The translation, he had an iron worker, so fabricator do them for him. And their front and rear bumpers, pretty thick tubular steel. Um, same with the sidebars. And then did a, he said the shocks were plus nine centimeter shock. You have a light bar sitting here in the grill. Um, adjustable panorama bars, front and rear plus the lift, and we didn't clean the undercarriage of this thing yet. Usually, we like to spray them with a hot pressure washer, get everything clean. Uh, you have a, I believe it was a two, where is it? 265.75 BFG mud train. Some springs in here. Terrain tamer, steering stabilizer, and I don't know why, but he did a limiting strap pro comp for the trailer and radius arms. You can see him here, and then a assist air spring helper in the back. I don't know if he was towing. There's a trailer hitch on the back. <clears throat> you got the little step back here too. That seems something popular over in Europe, so you can reach the top of your vehicle. Now, what's cool about the <clears throat> excuse me the 73s. That's the BJs, LJs, KZJs, RJs. Um, I'm probably forgetting a J in there. You have an integrated roll cage and the top's removable. So you can kind of see, here's a good example. The one back in the corner or here. That's a BJ73 with the top off, an identical. It's all right, I'm wearing sandals right now. It's the end of the day, gonna go to dinner relax the weekend even though I work every Saturday um, there's one with the top off so that has a full removable half doors 
that does not have the removal glass on the half doors, but we do know where to source them from if you're interested in that. So the top comes off, you have the same setup there, but you do have an integrated roll cage. Um, now, one of the things, once you delete the bottom bumper, your tail lights are normally in the bumper in a fog lamp. It's, uh, it was a European standard. And so the tail lights would be new. Usually you have one that's blanked out and they're kind of dummy lights and they're down the bumper. So they've been updated. It makes it a little bit safer to drive. You got rear defrost, rear wiper. In the back, they did, I'm not sure on all the doors you put limiting straps. So I'm not sure what the previous owner was using it for, but you want to make sure, I guess if the wind caught it, even with the hold backs on the normal doors, the doors would be safe. So you have diamond plate, it could be removed. It's just sitting here on top. Um, and you have all your tracks for all your gear. You made these little reverse cubbies, which I do like. Um, you can still get your washer fluid filled. There's your jacks behind here. And you have all the hold downs. So you can strap down a lot of gear, but like I said, integrated roll cage. That's why I like the 73s. They drive well, uh, good wheelbase. So it's not too difficult to get the top on one of these off and on. It just, it takes a little bit of time. Um, so the rear fabric that was used to cover the side compartments, they used to cover the front seats here. And so we'll wrap around. These just Velcro if you don't like them. They come off the headrest with the Toyota logo. Uh, you have tilt steering wheel. The push button hubs have now been converted over to AVN. So if you look, you have manual front hubs up front instead of those push button, which is a good upgrade. Um, they can be a little temperamental with those push button electronic. We've converted a few of them to manual. Uh, you know, like I said, I think it's a good upgrade. You have a tilt steering wheel, push button, four wheel drive. Low range is shift selectable. Went ahead and upgraded the shift knobs, deleted the head unit in favor of some gauges. There's oil pressure, oil temp, a bar, and coolant temp. Got altimeter, tilt meter, um, got built in charger. Down here, you can throttle up the vehicle. So if you're running accessories, you can drive the idle up a little bit higher. Um, master shutoff switch. Let's see, what else are we looking at here? You got adjustable bar in the rear. We went over the airbag helpers. Eight spoke black wheels. And I guess let's jump in so you can see these gauges. You do have the suspension seats, middle console, and I think it's called a come and go or fix and go air compressor that comes with it. You have these gray cup holders here. You can hold some cans on there. They might stay in place when you're out wheeling. Probably not. The keys are in my pocket, not the ignition. Gauges come up. Oil plugs off. So I think it said the time moon which they call distribution was done 256 and now it's 287. So I was, I was right in the zone. Our photographer just took it out a little while ago. So it temps up a little bit. It's always started real well. Like I said, you have oil temp, water temp, oil pressure, and then turbo. So your bar pressure, that's on bar, not on. has a good sound to it and typically the French like to tie in their aftermarket lights and accessories to the bright relay <clears throat> I think it might be a standard for law that if you're running brights you can't run any of your accessory lights but this one is hidden um, the technical controls are clean which is a good thing to see it was passing technical control even with all the different mods and they put in aftermarket clear corner lights let's see if we can find the magic switch for the light bar 
hadn't reviewed it yet. So I know the air horn. Oh, there it is. We have one toggle switch. The brights are on. We'll go back, check the lights out. See if they wired it into the factory box, which that'd be cool if they did. We got no dice on the light bar. Just my luck today while I'm filming. Should have reviewed it before. Let's turn the brights back on. There we are. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that's kind of cool having it buried underneath there. So it runs great, has good maintenance history. The other owner gave us a full, the previous owner, binder of records that come with it. It shows everything he had done to it. What's good is the French technical inspections are usually pretty harsh. And so, you know, I went through them and it came back clean on most accords. You know, had a few small things, but that's normal when you go for the technical over there. Let's see if we're missing anything else here. You know, like I said, mainly a lot of performance mods. I know he had done a laundry list of, let's shut the hood so y'all can see what that looks like. Regular maintenance, he was changing the fluids regular basis once a year. Here's your boost controller. Um, changing the gearbox fluids and, you know, fuel filters, air filters, everything else. Wasn't driving a lot, but the guy was a mechanic. So he thought through the suspension, adjustable links, and I don't know if I need to look and do a measurement if the hood is raised up for the intercooler piping or if it's raised up to try and get a little bit of heat out of there. So here it is, available for sale at Car Cave. If you have questions, you know, contact us. Solid vehicle. Lots of extra performance. The 1KZ is a great motor. Easy to maintain. Run solid. You could daily drive this thing. You could run interstate. You go all over the place with it. Plus it could four wheel. You take it off road. It's a very capable automobile. We've taken several out. <clears throat> so there you go. A little bit longer than usual walk around didn't expect it to be this long but if you have questions carcaveusa.com 803-262-4742 have a great day evening morning whenever you're watching this